So we know the issues. We know about energy. We know about the border. We know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that. We get all that. But why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission. That's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. Uh, I am by trade. I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First Pack, and we want to promote and help our. Uh, up-and-coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9-11. And I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them. So let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who are looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Under this administration, they have deliberately opened the border to fundamentally change the fabric of our country. I'm Jared Craig with Legacy Pack. We are here at Eagle Pass, Texas to bring attention to the border crisis, to educate the voters, the citizens of the United States, and the candidates running for federal office the importance of a secure border. And at Legacy Pack, we want to bring candidates here to the border to see it firsthand because there is nothing like being here seeing this. We saw women and children climbing over barbed wire. There is no reason why we cannot secure this border. There is no reason to keep this open. This is not humane. So, so we need to get Victor and all these other good America First candidates into office. We at Legacy Pact depend on your donation and support to support these projects. And we can't do it without you. So please go on to LegacyPact.org and show your support. Stan is with Veterans for Trump. Thank you, Martha. Thank you all. We're honored. I know there are so many organizations represented here today. But you're uh, you do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes. Great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you're with us. Mike Acton. Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald, Veterans for Trump, and I'm here with David Pollack who is a nationally known radio host, and he's going to be joining us at Veterans for America First, also known as Veterans for Trump. And David's going to be working in Florida, helping us find uh, the best America First people in the state. And we really appreciate you joining us, David. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for um, inviting me and, and, and giving me the opportunity to be a part of the organization. Uh, it's an important mission because, and as I told uh, Chad Caton, it, all of our founders, all of our leaders, all came from the military and you know there's a set of morals and values that we desperately need in this country and i can't think of an organization like veterans for america first veterans for trump that can find the best candidates to move uh this country in the direction it needs to go uh in via whether it's morality or whether it be honor and and, and commitment uh, that's those are the qualifications that i think we desperately need and that's why i'm thrilled to be part of this organization well we're blessed to have you sir and, and david as far as getting to know you 
Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've been an attorney for, uh, I think, 15 years now um, in the state of Florida. Um, I've worked uh, in, in politics as well. I've, I've ran for office myself locally. I've helped other campaigns. I've worked on uh, other bigger campaigns. I, I worked with Corey Mills in his congressional campaign. Um, then I started my radio show a couple of years, well, about a year ago now, we started our radio show, but I've been involved in media for a couple of years now too. And the radio show is doing really well. We have a video podcast that we just launched. Uh, we do Twitter spaces and the audience is growing. We've been having a lot of fun with that. So I'm just doing everything I can to do my part uh, to save America. And if that involves getting candidates elected that deserve to be elected, working on campaigns that, you know, of leaders we need, like like Congressman Mills, um, that's what I do. And, and I have a voice and I use it and then I help, you know, inspire people to do things in their own community. And this is this is just part of the calling and the mission. Well, you did good work in Florida. We also endorsed Corey at, at our national level, and he's turning out to be a great asset yeah. to, to the country. So he's doing good work. Um, David, just uh, as you're an attorney, can I ask you to comment on your opinion on the Banana Republic persecution of President Trump and what's going on there? I mean, I've had entire shows about it. Um, you know, what we're seeing, people call it lawfare. Um, but what we're seeing is they'll stop at nothing to stop President Trump. And when I say they, I'm not just talking about the left. I'm not just talking about whether it be foreign governments or even people in our own government who don't want to see Trump elected again. Um, but even some on the right and in the establishment, they 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 fear Donald Trump because what he was able to do for this country. He was the first president in my lifetime that was able to actually give something to the people. Like I, I remember my entire life, I voted. And then you have people that are like apathetic about elections. They're like, eh, I don't vote because it doesn't make a difference. When Donald Trump came down an escalator, he made some promises. He kept his promises. And everybody's life got better for the first time in my life and the first time in many people's lives. They actually saw a difference based on the person they nominated and elected for president. And that scared the establishment. What do you mean we have to be accountable? And so that started really the fear in the Washington, D.C. establishment that now we're going to be held to the standard of actually providing results. And you're seeing it now, even with Speaker Johnson continuing resolution after McCarthy was booted for the same reason. The same old game. You can replace these people with some other person who pretends to be America first, pretends to be conservative, but you never get results except for with Donald Trump. So, of course, they're going to do what they can. You remember in 2016, they were trying to get the electors not to vote for him. Right. You know, we saw what happened in 2020. I'm not going to get into it, but we saw what happened in 2020. And now here we are in 2024. He's been indicted, what, 94 times in four different places. They have civil lawsuits going against him. They went against his business interests. They go after his children. I mean, what Trump has done, and Rush Limbaugh used to say this all the time, they want to destroy him to send a message that somebody like Donald Trump will never be allowed and shouldn't ever be allowed to run for office again because this is what they'll do to you. And I mean, if Donald Trump can't survive this, who can? Which is why it's so vital that we get behind him because, yeah, I mean, they've taken novel legal theories that have never been tested. They've gone around uh, standard practices, even, in my opinion, broke the law to convene grand juries in foreign jurisdictions. They have done things that they would never do to even almost a regular citizen, let alone a former president of the United States. But it doesn't matter. It's not about convicting him. They're not going to convict Donald Trump. But what they are is distracting him. They're keeping his money instead of going on the campaign trail. They're keeping his money involved in court. You look at Colorado as another perfect example, trying to keep him off the ballot there and in Maine. All of this is to keep him distracted. All of this is to keep the money tied up. But you know what? It doesn't matter because the more they go after President Trump, the more people get behind him. And, I, I, and I'm confident after next Monday's primary in Iowa, uh, Ron DeSantis even will begrudgingly support uh, Donald Trump because he knows that he is going to be the nominee and he is the going to be the next president. And he's exactly who we need to save America, because if Donald Trump cannot survive this, uh, you know, I worry about all of us. Well, thank you, sir. And I think most of us are like minded on this. And we appreciate that you're going to be taking up the fight for us in Florida and leading our organization uh, down there with Ali. So how could people find you on social media? They can go to at the Pollock show. Uh, that's my social media handle on Twitter. Um, they can find me in, on my show website. It's the www.thedavidpollockshow.com. Um, but Twitter, I'm always on Twitter and I interact with my audience there. I'm on a bunch of different, I'm on every social media platform, but Twitter is the best place to find me. 
um, at the Pollock Show, P O L L A C K Show, at the Pollock Show. Well, there you have it, folks. David Pollock, our new uh, Veterans for America First Florida State Operations Director. He'll be working on the ground down there, supporting President Trump and finding his great candidates to run for office. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you very much for having me. Together, we're going to save America, I'm sure of it. Yes, sir. Thank you.